Mark and Sarah Stamper Retreat. Today I'm taking part in a wow video hop to show off their new July release and it's a huge release. So make sure that you hop along to all the other videos because there's also a chance to win one of three goodie bags that contains the entire July release and it's a really good one so it's a fantastic prize. And you can find details of the hop and the giveaway in the video description below. Today I'm going to be creating a fun watercolour card using this tropical stamp from WOW and these cool new powders. So this is called the Million Dollar Duo and it's made up of quite a coarse gold powder and this absolutely gorgeous silver glass additive. So I'm going to stamp the stamp using my stamp wheel because it's quite a big stamp. So I'll take a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of watercolour cardstock. Now I'm going to ink that up with embossing ink. And then I'm going to do it once more just to make sure I've got a really nice impression. And then I'm going to heat emboss that using the powder. And you can see it's quite a coarse powder. It's not going to have the same like really fine effects as a normal embossing powder. So then let's heat that up and because it's quite big grains we're going to heat from the bottom. So you can see because it's a much coarser powder you get much wider lines. It's not as kind of detailed a look but it's also kind of more puffy than usual. It stands off the paper more than usual embossing powder. So then I'm going to grab my paint palette. This is an older, older new one. And I'm going to go in. I'm going to do a bit of a watercolour wash first. So now that that initial layer has dried, I'm going to go back in with the same colours and just add a deeper level of watercolour to those flowers. So I'm just using a stronger amount of the same colours. I'm still doing it in quite a loose way, there's nothing like technical to what I'm doing or anything. So then I can leave that to dry. So then I'm going to go through with my WOW embossing pen. And just on some of these bigger ones, I'm going to add some embossing ink with the pen to the centre of the flowers. And then I'm going to add on some more of this powder. So then I'm going to take these little additives and I'm going to sprinkle a few onto each centre in turn. And then I'm going to heat it up from the bottom. I actually think it works better to heat it first and then add the spring. So then we've got this kind of cool chunky glittery look to it. So I've cut my panel down. I've got a Four and a quarter by five and a half inch pink card blank with a three and three quarter by five inch piece of gold card stock. And then I've cut this down to a quarter of an inch smaller than that. So three and a half by four and three quarter inches. And because it's buckled a bit from all the heat and the water that we've added to it, I'm just going to add some double sided adhesive sheet to the back. And then I'm going to add that to the gold piece. And then I'm going to add this to my card front. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to use one of these chipboard stickers. And use this beautiful. And these are permanent marketing painted floral stickers. So then there's that card finished. I really hope that you enjoyed creating that with me and just having a play with watercolours. 
and those really fab new powders. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a pictures playlist if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.